Hey, so how's it going everybody? So today, as you already know, my favorite subject to talk about is photography. And what I want to talk to you about today in particular is the importance of having a foreground in your pictures. Now, it's not totally mandatory to have these in your photographs, but it's definitely something to consider when you're planning out your composition. I would like for you to start thinking about photographs as a frame composed out of multiple layers, right? So what do I mean by this? Let's take for instance a picture that has the following things, right? They have foreground, middle ground, and a background, right? So when you're looking at these pictures, um, you'll see that when photographs tend to have a foreground in their composition, they tend to feel more grounded, more, more natural, and just more uh, straight down to earth, if, if to be frank. And I think that by having a uh, foreground in your picture, it adds a bit more realism to, 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 the, to the picture, to the image. You know, as a photographer, you want to bring in your, your viewer and introduce them into this world. And by having the foreground, you kind of place that viewer in perspective. You teach them about the photograph that they live in or that they are in. If used correctly, foregrounds, it's a powerful tool to make your message stand out more. You know, this can put the viewer in perspective to the camera, which in terms can emphasize the meaning of your, of your composition. So for instance, if you put them up in the ceiling um, and you know and you show a foreground element in the sky the viewer can know that hey we're looking at this from above or from below so if we want to emphasize the size of a building before we even take the picture let's plan out um, a foreground element where we can place inner composition to kind of tell that story to, in, instead of just having the shot of a big tall building in the sky why not add a foreground element and perhaps add like a street sign or kind of just see it from uh, add like street signs at at objects or something so that we can tell that the camera is underneath it and as you can and as you'll see in the picture you'll end up with a shot that has those three elements the foreground middle ground and background um, you, now your viewer will understand more about where they're coming from where they're seeing this picture from and that can and if we were trying to show that the height of the building now we can definitely know how, how tall it can be so yeah practically by adding the foreground element it can pretty much be used for any form of photography I know I've seen it in model shoots so what the photographer would do is would kind of put the camera near a wall or a building of some sort and that would be their foreground element and when they take the picture uh, you'll see some examples provided in this video um, that the model is you know much more relatable as to where she exists in that picture and it's more like as if you're there looking through kind of catching a glimpse of that model it creates a natural instinct by placing you the viewer there next in that world kind of peeping through and seeing her and if used correctly you can create some in interesting shots out of it um and again it's all about delivering to the viewer right at the end of the day you know photographers we can keep we can either keep our images and store them forever or we can share them and I, and that's really that's really the power of photography that you're able to share what you caught and be able to start conversations with someone and that's why i wanted to bring this up to you today because i think that photographs deserve for foregrounds it, again it's not totally mandatory but i think it should be considered when designing your composition all right well that's all for me today I gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. Goodbye! Nah, but in all seriousness, uh, I, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm waiting for my train right now. It got cancelled like twice, so I decided to start recording. I don't know, I just felt really motivated to do that. <laughs> Have, do you ever just get motivated to just do things all of a sudden, just out of random? Let me know down in the comments. Alright, well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to please give it a like. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. 
I want to talk more about photography and kind of like show you my way of looking at it and just show you around yeah so again thank you so much for watching and have a good day